hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here and what we have here we take 4 is to power 6 to the left hand side that is we have t raised to power 1 4 raised to power 6 minus 4 raised to power 6 equals to 0 here then here we can express this as t minus 1 4 raised to power 3 then all raised to power 2 as 2 times 3 give us 6. Also minus. Here we have 4 raised to power 3. Then all raised to power 2 equals to 0 here. Then here, this follows when we have a square minus b square, which can be written as a plus b into brackets, open brackets, a minus b. Now this here is standing as t minus 1 all raised to power 3 and b standing as 4 raised to power 3 that is all we have here all of this and becomes t minus 1 all raised to power 3 plus 4 raised to power 3 into brackets also into bracket t minus 1 all raised to power 3 minus 4 raised to power 3 close bracket equals to 0 here then here we have two possible cases the first one we have t minus 1 or raised to power 3 plus 4 raised to power 3 equals to 0 or we have t minus 1 or raised to power 3 minus 4 raised to power 3 equals to 0 here then solving on this side, this follows when we have a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3, which is same thing as a plus b into bracket, then open bracket, a square minus a b plus b square. That is what we have here follow this. I write as t minus 1 plus 4 into bracket, open bracket, t minus 1 all square minus 4 times t minus 1 then plus 4 square plus bracket equals to 0 here that is here this becomes t plus 3 into bracket open bracket expansion here gives us t square minus 2t plus 1 minus 4 upon this bracket we have minus 4t plus 4 then plus 4 squared and 16 close bracket equals to 0 here that is next step we have t plus 3 into bracket open bracket here we have t squared minus 2t minus 40 give us minus 60 then 4 plus 16 that's 20 plus 1 that's 21 close bracket equals to 0 here and here also we have two possible cases here t plus 3 equals to 0 or we have t squared minus 60 plus 21 equals to 0 yeah then solving on this side we have t equals to minus 3 which is a real solution here and here we have a quadratic equation we are here equals to 1 b equals to minus 6 and c equals to 21 applying the quadratic formula which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 ac over 2a then here yeah, this becomes t is now equals to minus minus 6 plus or minus square root of minus 6 square minus 4 times 1 times 21 over 2 times 1 that is here we have t equals to minus times minus that's plus that's 6 plus or minus square root of minus c squared that's 36 and minus 4 times 1 times 21 that gives us 84 that is divided by 
two here. And this becomes t equals to six plus or minus square root of 36 minus 84 f minus 48 over 2 which also can write as t equals to 6 plus or minus square root of 16 times 3 times minus 1 over 2 and when we separate this here through 16 that's 4 we take it out and we have t equals to 6 plus or minus 4 we have root 3 and root minus 1 is i over 2 that is here yeah, also 2 is common up here we can write it as t equals to 2 into bracket 3 plus or minus 2 root 3 i all over 2 and here 2 cancelled each other and we have t equals to 3 plus or minus 2 root 3 uh, at this here, we have two complex solutions here. Then, solving from the second case here, this also follows when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3, which is the same thing as a minus b into brackets, open brackets, a square plus a b plus b square. At this, what we have here, follow this and becomes t minus 1 minus 4 into bracket open bracket t minus one all square plus four times t minus one plus four square close bracket equals to zero here that is yeah we have t minus five into bracket open bracket expansion here give us t square minus two t plus one Four upon this bracket, we have plus four t minus four, then plus four squared as sixteen close bracket equals to zero here, which implies we have t minus five into bracket and open bracket. Here we have t squared minus two t plus four t give us plus two t, then sixteen minus four that's twelve plus one that's plus thirteen close bracket equals to zero here and also here we have two possible cases the first one t minus five equals to zero or we have t square plus two t plus 13 equals to zero here also solving on this side this gives us t equals to five which is also a real solution and here we also have a quadratic equation yeah a equals to one b equals to 2 and c equals to 13. also applying the quadratic formula we have t equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 square minus 4 times 1 times 13 all over 2 times 1 that is here we have t equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 2 square that's 4 minus 4 times 1 times 13 we have 52 all over 2 then this becomes t equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 52 we have minus 48 all over 2 then we can write this as t equals to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 16 times 3 times minus 1 all over 2. And when we separate this, if 16 is 4, we take it out. We have t equals to minus 2 plus or minus 4. Then we have root 3 root minus 1 is i over 2. And also factor 2 out here this becomes t equals to 2 into bracket minus 1 plus or minus 2 root 3 i left here over 2 also 2 cancelled each other and this becomes t equals to minus 1 plus or minus 2 root 3 i also here we have two complex 
solutions here. And therefore, altogether in this problem, we have six solutions here, two free solutions here, two complex solutions here, and two complex solutions here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget this step. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put a comment. See you next class and bye for now.